Hi there, it's Wanda from Sense By Me, and today, tonight I thought I would go ahead and show you how I infuse my lemongrass plant. I trimmed them all over yesterday or Sunday and trimmed them all back and gave them a good haircut. And now I picked some and saved some so I could infuse some and I'm going to use organic um, avocado oil. You can choose whatever oil you want, but I'm going to use avocado because it's so moisturizing. Now you gotta be careful with these uh, blade um, from off the lemongrass because they can cut you. Um, I learned that the hard way. I got some cuts over the weekend trying to go down inside the plant, but that's okay. Um, but there are some pieces like right there, brown, you want to cut those off. So you don't want those. So we'll just trim them off, the ones that we're not going to keep, like here's one. And they pretty much stick out like a sore thumb because they're brown. And you don't want brown. So you want to trim those pieces off. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut them up. What I'm going to do, we're going to cut them up. You want to take them and cut them in small pieces because we're going to put them in this jar. And then we need to rub them. So this is what, this is how I do it. Um, not too small because you don't want them to make, make it too mushy in your, um, in your jar. Pieces like that should be fine. So we're going to go ahead and, um, Pretty much all of them are, are okay. Because when you touch the plant and rub it, that's where you get the, the lemongrass aroma. And um, that's where you know you want to um, get that in your jar to get it going. So we're just gonna go and cut these in small pieces. And if you have gloves, you could use gloves, but um, I'm in the house for the night, so I don't have my gloves in here. So what I'll do is I'll just use a paper towel to, um, to rub them so I don't cut my hands. And um, that way... You can still get the um, the lemongrass. Uh, you're just gonna rub them like this, and um, that's not a good piece. So we're just gonna go through these and cut them down so we can get them in the jar. And if I see any bad pieces, I'll just take them off then. Lemongrass is so wonderful. It has great um, antibacterial. It's a good astringent. Um, people use it in salves, creams, rubs, scrubs, soap. Um, it's such a great herb to have in your apothecary or in your cabinet. Um, like I said, but you do have to be careful with it because it can, it is a pretty blade, has a very sharp blade for a, for a piece of, uh, for the um, plant itself. So, so don't let that little blade fool you because I have already gotten cut several times. I have done some, some earlier in the um, summer and you can twist them when you first take them off. You can braid them and twist them into like little wreaths. They make great for tea. Just plop the whole thing right in your teacup and boil your water. Now that one wasn't a very good piece either, so we'll take that one out. But yeah, you just have to go through your, um, through your batch again when you're picking. I got quite a bit off. And um, how I want to infuse it and how long I'm going to infuse it for um, probably, probably five to six weeks. 
And then um, I'll see. It's still early. It's still September. We're getting in the tail end of September. So I might still have enough time to go out and get um, one more picking if I need more. I might do a double infusion to give it more of the um, uh, more of the punch that I want in the um, infused oil. Um, I would love to make a um, a, a handmade um, soap with some of it, and maybe a salve. I think a salve would be great for in the winter time. Just for, you know, just to have for that roughness and um, if you get a scratch or, you know, a cut, it's good for that. Um, like I said, lemongrass, it, it has such great medicinal properties. Um, but it is a very sharp bladed um, plant. And um, there's another piece. We don't want that one or that one. So this is why I'm cutting them up so I know that they'll go ahead and just fit into my jar. So you don't want it no higher than probably that. So that's why we're cutting them down in half. You can use a quart jar, but I'm not using that much oil. So um, you wanna cut them accordingly to your jar. That one's not no good either. Um, it smells amazing. And um, you can put the, the brown ones on your compost pile. Let, that, let it go back into the ground. Um, do your garden a favor. Bless it with the, uh, where it come from. And um, that way, come spring, it will help your garden. And um, it's easy to transplant. It's such an easy growing plant. Um, I bought three and um, they they have grown tremendously over the summer and um, there's a way there's a stalk on them. That one doesn't look too good either. Um, they come up into a little stalk and you want to cut them right above the stalk not cut the stalk off because then if you do that you won't get any new growth so you'll want to um cut just below about maybe an inch or two below the stalk and then you can have the whole entire blade just cut off any brown that you have and um you'll have your very own fresh lemongrass um, it's a great herb you can even um, probably be, may, would make a great lip balm for your lips in the winter um, to have that that antiseptic um, that one's not good either have that great antiseptic um, into your lip balm to help heal chapped lips Anything chapped, um, it's a good antibacterial, so definitely good in soap. And um, it would probably make a nice cream if you had dry, you know, dry skin. Because it is, uh, avocado oil is very moisturizing. All right, I see a bad spot on there. We're almost there. I could have cut them earlier, but I wanted to share it with you to show you how. And um, to get your pile, and you want quite a bit. I mean, don't go chintzy on it. The more you put in there, the more potent your, um, your, your infusion will be. That one's not good either. So the compost is going to be blessed. And, uh, but look at all the, uh, Look at all the um, lemongrass we have now. Let me see about that one. I don't like that one either. Or that one. 
Sometimes it's a little darker in the house and it's hard to um, see, you know, if it doesn't stand right out. So now what you want to do is take your jar. I'm, if you had gloves, it would be better, but I don't have gloves right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few in my hand. I'm going to put them in my paper towel and use them as a cushion to rub them, to get them going. Oh, you can just smell it already. Just rub them. And then stick them down in your jar. And if they're too tall, like so, just cut them below so they fall down into the jar, like so. Take another handful. And it's working. I mean, you don't have to uh, rub it real hard to get it, to get the blades woke up, per se. Um, so we're gonna do that to all of these. And, um, because I can't do it with my bare hands or I will, uh, my hands will be bleeding. That's how sharp it can get. So take caution when doing that. I probably could have went a little bit shorter, but it's okay. Oh, that smells awesome. What you're doing is you're releasing it from the plant and we're putting it in the jar. And um, by rubbing it, you're activating its goodness. Let's put it that way. So just keep doing that, rub it, get it going. And uh, down in the jar. And then we're gonna cover it with the oil. And by cutting the blades helps too, so. Well, there's another brown one. We don't want that one. Or that one. See, we do uh, kinda like find, find them in between. By rubbing them, we'll just get them going. Wake them up and get them in the jar. We don't want to overstuff them. Just enough to get in the jar. And um, I could have probably used a towel too. Whatever you have is good. But I decided just to use a paper towel because it was handy. And then um, that way I have a good smelling hand towel, teeth paper towel. Now, what have you, have you ever made anything with lemongrass? That was, what was one of my questions for you today. Have you tried lemongrass? And if so, what have you made with it? I would love to hear what you've, you know, if you've tried it, if there's anything, um, you know, that you would like to share um, with us, that would be great. And um, we can all share each other's ideas. All right, we're almost there.
Even in the jar, it'll poke you. <laughs> so you got to make sure you get them blades below. So sometimes it's better just to... Uh... Now these are dry. Fresh cut yesterday. So they're, they, they dried out very well. I air dry everything. I don't have a, uh, what you call a um, dehydrator. I air dry. Takes longer, but I get all the good medicinal properties inside. I don't lose any that's in the dehydrator. And I like it. And I'm patient, so I can wait. So just be careful when you're cutting. And um, each one that I'm cutting helps bring out the uh, medicinal aroma of the lemongrass. This will probably make a great batch because there's quite a bit of it. So we may not have to infuse it two times. This is quite a bit for this batch. Okay, we are almost to there and we are going to, uh, you wanna put the oil above the plant don't leave any sticking up if you can help it because you're going to want to shake it every, uh, you know, at least once a week. If you can remember to, to uh, get it going. Help incorporate it into the oil and um, just rub your plant and get it going. Okay. Wake it up. Okay, got this last little bit. You'll want to mark it, the date that you did it. So you can um, keep an eye on the um, time frame if you want to infuse it for five or six weeks, ever how long you you can go up to six weeks. I think that would leave plenty of time to, uh, to let it infuse. So put all that in your jar. Boy, I had some long pieces. And I'm surprised I didn't get cut because I was doing it pretty quickly. Okay. All right, there's your little pieces I won't worry about. So we're going to just give it a good trim below the base. You want it below this rim so you know that it's all gonna soak in. So just pick up your pieces that are sticking up. and trim them down, like so. Oh, there's a piece. Forgot one. Don't want to leave two big ones. Okay. Now here's your nice jar of lemongrass. And you want it fairly loose. It's fairly loose in there. So we're going to go ahead and take your, take your avocado oil, which I get mine from an herb place in Milford where I live. Um, she has organic, so I get it from there. I just use this bottle over and over. <laughs> has a nice little spout. I'm gonna pour this on there. And, um, just want to make sure all your oil is covering the lemongrass.
And I think it's just going to be just enough. Woo, that's just enough. All right, let me get a spoon. And what you want to do is take your plant, take your spoon, and make sure all your pieces are below the oil. If not, cut them. You don't want any sticking up, and I do see one that's sticking up. There's a few there. Because you don't want it to um, grow any bacteria. If you leave any sticking up, that's what will happen. They need to be below the oil. So if you have to cut them shorter, you can cut them shorter. There. And... You just want to make sure that your oil is floating and just press down. Put your uh, little sticker on there to let it, the date, so you can keep track of it. And, um, Every week or so, give it a good shake. All right, I think I have them pretty well covered. And looks like I'll be making a trip to the herb store to get another uh, refill. Because I think that was all. Okay, you're going to put your lid on. You're going to store it in a cool, dark spot, like a cabinet. Um closet, whatever you have. As long as it's dark and cool, don't forget that it's in there. Once, in a, once a week, take it and give it a good shake like this. And uh, do that. And then in four weeks, six weeks, um, you can check it and uh, just make sure you use a strainer and I'll show you how we strain it when the time comes. Okay, well, I need to take my lid off because I shook it up and I need to make sure that they're covered. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens and we'll see the color change hopefully within the uh, six weeks. That's all you need to do for now. Okay. We will see you uh, back when uh, we get ready to strain it. Now we're infusing lemongrass. We'll see you next time. God bless.